Tying in lead eyes is a little tricky, not because the wraps are difficult, but because the eyes need to be on tight. Once they're in loosely, with lots of wraps over them, it's nearly impossible to tighten them up. Your wraps need to be tight and well placed. As with most fly tying, a few tight wraps will serve you better than any number of loose wraps. If you tie in eyes a lot, it's worth coming up with a pattern of wraps that works for you. Start by laying down a thread base for the eyes to sit on. Then place the eyes on top of the hook, parallel to the hook shank, centered over the hanging thread. Place two loose wraps over the center of the eyes and around the hook shank, finishing with the bobbin underneath the hook. Increase thread tension and allow the eyes to rotate off of the hook shank and into position. As the eyes rotate around, the thread wraps rotate with them, becoming crossing wraps from close right to far left. Place two wraps over the eyes and around the shank from close left to far right. Make sure the eyes are where you want them. Now pull down firmly to snug these wraps, then place two locking wraps both behind and in front of the eyes. Now that the eyes are in place, I'll go over the four types of wraps I use and how I use them. The first type of wrap is the figure eight wrap. This is the same wrap used to get the eyes seated, but it is easier to see now that the eyes are in their final orientation. Cross over the eyes and around the hook shank from close right to far left. Bring the thread under and cross from close left to far right. This forms an X on top of the eyes in the figure eight pattern around the eyeballs. I usually do wraps in pairs, with two this way and two in the other direction. The second type of wrap is a standard locking wrap which goes straight around the hook shank, wrapping over itself two or three times. The third type of wrap is over the eyeball and under the hook shank. I'm wrapping over and around the eyeball on one side, crossing underneath the hook shank, and wrapping over and around the eyeball on the other side. Bring the thread straight around the hook shank instead of crossing over. In other words, if the thread finishes in front of the eyeballs on the close side, it should start in front of the eyeballs on the far side. The fourth wrap is between the eyes and the hook shank. Here, the thread is not wrapping over the hook or the eyeball, but over the thread wraps between the two. This draws the earlier wraps tighter, getting rid of any potential slack and really cinching the eyes down. These four types of wraps used together will make your eyes very secure. I'm going to finish up with a double figure eight and a couple sets of secure locking wraps. Now I'll go through the whole sequence again. First, I need to seat the eyes. Lay the eyes on top of the hook shank, parallel to the shank. Place two loose wraps directly around the eyes and tighten down, rotating the eyes off of the hook shank and around. Place two more wraps around the eyes in the opposite direction and tighten. This thread pattern forms a figure eight. I'm going to place locking wraps both behind and in front of the eyes. Then I'll continue with the figure eight pattern with two sets of two wraps each. I'll do a quick locking wrap and then I'll wrap over the eyeball and under the hook shank. I'll do two of these and then lock. The next type of wrap is between the eyeball and the hook shank. I like to do four together. I'm going to finish with another set of double figure eight wraps. Then I'll lock both behind and in front. A half hitch will secure all my wraps and these eyes are done. 